guys, it's Megan. Today's video is my October favorites video and I am going to stop you right now, hit the pause button, go grab yourself a snack because it's gonna be a long one. This month has just been a crazy whirlwind and I have done so much. So I'm gonna try and keep it in order of how the months gone by because it's just been insane. So to start at the very, very, very beginning of the month, my first favorite is Austin City Limits Music Festival. We went last year and I'll have a couple of pictures flowing right here, but we went last year and it was so much fun and we loved it so much. So this year we knew we had to go back. We went to weekend one and there were a ton of musicians that we wanted to see and ended up seeing pretty much all of them. Ryan's, both of Ryan's sisters came with us and my brother was there, but he was with another group. So we weren't really together the whole time, but it was just so much fun. And it actually leads me on to my other favorite of the month. And that is the Sunlit Youth album by Local Natives. Sunlit Youth is a fantastic album. It is probably one of my new favorite albums of all time. And Ryan already bought me a ticket and himself a ticket as well, obviously, to see them in December. So I'm so, so excited now that I have the album and know all of those new songs. I am so pumped to see them again because we saw them at Austin City Limits. I don't know if I mentioned that but it's amazing it's so good would highly recommend checking it out I also picked up a little bit of merch I try to get something from Austin City Limits every time we go just so I have something to look back on it with and my purchase this year I think all four of us got and I am in love with it and it's dirty so don't judge that but it is a sweatshirt and here is what it looks like it's got a wolf and it's got Austin in the background and it's just so fuzzy and comfy and I just love it so so much but like I said it's dirty so let's get rid of that after ACL I really have just been exhausted to be totally honest so my makeup has gone very minimal and I have changed up a few of the things that I've been doing obviously I'm not wearing minimal makeup today but I have moved away from full coverage concealer under my eyes. I just have been noticing a lot of wear and tear under my eyes and I just don't like putting super high coverage thick concealer under there. I know it may look better but I just feel better about the skin under my eyes when I don't have anything heavy under it. So I have actually been using a highlighter of all things but this is a highlighter from MAC. It is called Prep and Prime in the shade Radiant Rose. It's a really pretty light pale pink and I just find that it almost has a bit of iridescence to it. I just kind of paint this under my eyes just in a couple of streaks right in this inner area and take my finger and dab it out. But it just does a really nice job of lightly color correcting because it does have that pink to it but it also just kind of brightens under my eyes and I don't have to feel like I need to put a bunch of concealer on underneath my eyes. So I've been loving this. It's super light. It doesn't feel like there's anything there under my eyes right now and I just adore this. Next up, I have uh, another beauty product that I picked up. It's been several weeks, but I have just been needing some new eyelash curlers. I previously had the Tarte eyelash curlers and I've had them for almost six years. And so it was just time for something new. They were looking really grubby and kind of gross and it just, I needed to upgrade to another pair. So I got a pair that has been so hyped up online and they are the eyelash curlers by Troy Surratt Beauty. I love these. I think that they are so nice. They look really cool. They're very matte black and they just feel really heavy duty. They do feel a lot less gentle, I should say, whenever um, I compare them to the Tarte eyelash curlers, but they do a great job of curling your lashes and the lashes hold the curl afterwards so I really 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 love these I didn't use them today because as you can see I'm wearing fake eyelashes but I really really would recommend these they are expensive but for tools like these that you're going to use for years on end it's almost worth a little bit of an investment so you don't have to replace them 
And yeah, I would just really recommend these. They have been very great and I can see myself using them for a very long time to come. Since I mentioned I'm wearing fake eyelashes, I thought I'd tell you guys what I'm wearing. I wouldn't necessarily call them a favorite yet because this is my first time wearing them, but they are the Eyelure number 100 volume eyelashes and it comes in a three pack. I think this is $10 at Ulta and you can wear these lashes three or four times so you really get about 12 uses out of this box so it was worth it to me I think I'm gonna start wearing eyelashes in my videos because one thing that I have noticed and have become acutely aware of since starting YouTube is that I have somewhat short eyelashes at least they're shorter than I would like and they're not as voluminous as I would like so I bought these just to give them a try and I really really like the effect and so you may be seeing more of these as we go on but I think this is about as dramatic as I'm prepared to go for now so you shouldn't see anything too much crazier than this. My next favorite is a person and this one may not be so much of a surprise to you guys but my favorite person this month is Ryan, my boyfriend. If you haven't met him before I'll leave a video down below that I did with him but he has just been so fantastic this month and it also is our five year anniversary this month and it was on October 19th. And we have been together a long time but truly he is my best friend and I just love spending time with him. I love being with him. He understands me like nobody else and I just especially appreciate him during our anniversary. So definitely one of my favorites this month. Ryan, I love you. Uh, and for our anniversary, another favorite, we went to Chicago just on a whim. We had kind of been kicking around the idea of going on a trip instead of gifts this year just because we wanted to do something more than we normally do for our anniversary. So we went to Chicago and it just so happened to be during the National League Championships for baseball. So it was a very exciting time to be there. And one of the takeaways I got from the trip and another favorite of the month is the Chicago Cubs. I have never seen a city that is so completely and totally obsessed with a sports team. I mean, I grew up with Baylor and I grew up with people that were obsessed with the Dallas Cowboys and things like that, but it just felt like the energy in Chicago was just so strongly positive about the Cubs. It was just so cool to be a part of that. And so Ryan and I watched a couple of the games at bars locally in Chicago and it was just so much fun. And they won the National League Championships while we were there. And I have a video, we were right outside Wrigley Field whenever the game ended and it was madness. And so I, um, I'll insert some of that footage here so you guys can see how crazy that was. <laughs> But it was just a lot of fun and I uh, specifically picked up this cap so not just the Cubs are a favorite but this cap is a favorite it's by the brand it's by the brand 47 brand and it's just a plain cap it's got a snap here and then you can just adjust it from there and it's got the Cubs logo on it and I just never wear baseball caps ever, but I really, really like the way this one looks on me. So not only is it a fashion piece, but I get to support my new favorite baseball team. So I really, really love this and have been wearing it a lot because the Cubs are in the World Series right now. And that is another favorite. We've just been watching all of these games and it's just been so fun to be somehow a part of it. So I love that hat and I also got a sweatshirt and I love that too but especially love the hat. And while we were in Chicago I got a couple more favorites. 
I got this, which is a hair tie. This is called Invisibobble, and I've been hearing about it a lot. I got it from Sephora in a pack of three in the Isle of Doom. And I love these because they're my hair color, and so they just go invisibly into your hair. If I wanted to put my hair up in a ponytail, uh, you wouldn't be able to really see this and it also does a really great job of not creasing your hair so I've been loving this I've been wearing my hair in a bun a lot and this has been helping me out with it and I just love these they are my new favorite hair ties and then another fashion favorite from Chicago I got this sweater from American Eagle of all places and it's kind of this waffle knit and it's got a cold shoulder so the shoulder is open and it's long sleeved and really flowy and just super, super soft. I am obsessed with this. I wore it during just one day while we were in Chicago and before we even left Chicago, I had ordered another one in a different color. So you'll be seeing that very soon. And I bought it specifically for Chicago because I knew it was going to be much colder there, and it was. So I actually have another video that I'm not sure if it's up now or if it's going up after, but I have a video with me wearing it so you guys can check that out. But I love this. It is so comfy. And I have just found a new love for American Eagle. They just have awesome basic pieces that work for pretty much anybody. So I really, really love American Eagle and I really love this top. Whenever we were in Chicago, I also noticed that I had totally forgotten to bring any and all jewelry with me. So that was interesting. Uh, one of our first outings actually was go to go to the local top shop and pick up some earrings because that was the one thing that I didn't want to have to live without and I really really love these. I got them like I said from Topshop. They're by the brand Aurelia from London and they're just gold triangle studs and I have been wearing them non-stop. If you go back to any of my other videos all of them have me wearing a bar curve crawler earring that goes up here and I just love those earrings so 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 much. But it's nice to mix it up a little bit and wear something else because I've worn nothing but those crawlers for at least a year and a half now. So I'm really, really happy with these. I'm loving them so much. And then whenever we got back from Chicago, I was having a little bit of skin issues. We got back on this past Sunday and my skin is kind of broken out along my jawline. I think it's hormonal because that's typically what's going on whenever I break out down there. But... I got one of my favorites back in my life because I just couldn't stand to wait any longer. The Fresh Umbrian Clay Mattifying Mask or Purifying Mask. The, they changed the packaging since I last had this, but I love it so much. This is the best clay mask ever. I just cannot think of another mask that I love as much or anywhere near as much as that mask. And I have been trying to make it without it. I have been using other masks, but I just couldn't wait anymore. I had to have it back in my life. So I got that. I've been wearing it like every day. Like I've said in previous videos, I wear it as a mask, but I also use it as a spot treatment. So I just dab a little bit of it onto my spots. And what's cool about this mask is it turns white whenever it is pulling impurities out of your skin. So you'll see the green of the mask, but then a white where the spot is. And I just feel so satisfied knowing that it's gotten something out of my skin. And I love it so, so much. And then last but not least, I have an overall month of October favorite. And it is a podcast and it's called Ladies Who Lunch. It's by Ingrid Nilsson and Kat Valdez. And I have just been really enjoying it. I really like listening to it when I'm driving to and from work. They basically just talk about all of these different topics and issues, especially relating to women. And it's cool just like hearing a conversation about things like that because they're not necessarily things that I would discuss with people in my everyday life. Maybe Ryan, but not others. And so it's just cool to hear intellectual conversation and think about what I would say if I were a part of it and I just really really enjoy it so if you haven't ever heard of it I would really recommend checking it out because it's really awesome and I think that's everything for my monthly favorites if you are still with me 
thank you so much for listening to me ramble for the last God knows how long, probably 15, 20 minutes. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I keep saying I'm going to try and be more consistent, but who knows if that's really going to happen. I'm going to keep posting, but I don't know when or how often. But I hope you guys have a great one and I will see you in my next one whenever that one is. Bye!